Hello, boys and girls. Welcome to Lesson 16, Session 2. Remember yesterday we started talking about what addition means. And we talked about the word addition, the word adding, the word add. And we also talked about the word plus. And we talked about that plus sign. So today we're going to do a little more with this. So you, today you will need your math workbook. And you will need a pencil unless you're comfortable using a dark crayon or a dark marker to draw so your teacher could see a little better. Okay, so grab your things and then press play when you're ready. All right, let's get warmed up. The first thing we're going to do is review some of our shapes from last unit. So let's circle the 2D shapes. So point to a 2D shape and tell me its name. Good. Circle is flat. 2D. How about another flat one? Good, triangle, and excellent, square. Now, we're going to underline the 3D shapes. Remember to say the name. Let's see. How about this one? What's the name of this one? Excellent, cube, and cylinder. And the last one, sphere. Good. What's the difference between a 2D shape and a 3D shape? Right. A 2D shape is flat. Put your hands together. And a 3D shape is solid. So make a fist. Remember, those stand up. Excellent. All right. Now, show me your hands. You're going to need both hands now. All right. We are going to use addition with our hands. So on one hand, show me one finger. On the other hand, show me two. Now, put those hands together. One plus two equals three. Excellent. Okay, let's do this next one. Show me two and two. Now, put them together. Two plus two. Yes, four. Good. Let's do this one. Three and two. Put them together. Three plus two is five. Good. Last one. Four and two. Put them together. Four plus two is six. Good. Excellent job adding. All right. Let's turn to page 300. And 19 in your workbook. 3, 1, 9. Looks like this. All right. So I have already drawn a picture, but I covered it so you can't see it yet. Okay. So we are going to model 2 plus 1. Say that with me again. 2 plus one. Let's draw a plus sign up here. Plus. This is a plus sign and it means to add. You can do this with your fingers to remind yourself. Add. Plus means add. Good. All right. So we're going to model this with a picture. So I want you to think of something you could draw that would show two plus one. So maybe it's something that you do at home to add. Um, maybe it's something you've done out in the community. Think of a picture you could draw that would show us two plus one. So I want you to press pause while you're drawing. And then when we press play again, we'll see what you drew. Okay, so press pause. Excellent. All right, let me see your drawings. Good. Now, let me show you mine. I drew two cookies plus one cookie. So, I want two cookies. You want one cookie. So, that means I need to figure out how many we need. Two plus one. We need... 
three. So I want you to practice with an adult and tell them a story about your picture here. So how I told you a story about my cookies, I want you to do that with an adult that you're with and tell them a story using your pictures. Excellent. Now, let's talk about some other things that you might add in real life, okay? Now, remember we talked about add means to join together. Add means to put together, okay? So, what are some things in real life that you might add? Hmm. What if you're really, really, really wanting to save money to buy a special toy and you have $2 at home and then you do some extra chores and mommy gives you two more dollars, you would need to add to see how much you have. So maybe if you're saving for something, um, what if you're planning to make some flowers for Mother's Day and you want to, you have two roses and you have one daffodil but you need to know how many flower pots to buy so you would have to add two and one to know that you would need three flower pots uh, maybe you're going to a birthday party or you're planning a birthday party and you need to see how many more balloons you need or how many you have maybe you have two blue and three green. So all together, you would have five. So that's something you could talk about at home with a friend or an adult also, sometimes in life that you might add. Okay, go ahead and turn the page now. 320, three, two, zero. Has apples on it like this. All right, let's check this out. Now, I want you to tell me how many red Good. And how many yellow? Good. So if we said this as an addition problem, we would say two plus three. Yes. So now we want to look down here and figure out which one says two plus three. Yeah. So now draw a line to match them. Two plus three, two plus three. Okay, let's do the next one. One, how many are here? Three, so one plus three. Where's the one plus three equation? Good, match them up. One plus three, one plus three. How about here? Three plus three. Perfect. Check it. Three plus three. Excellent job. Nice job. Now let's use our fingers to solve those problems. So let's do this one first. Two plus three. Put them together. How many do you have? Five. Good. Do the next one. One plus three. Put them together. Excellent. Four. Last one. Three. Three. Put them together. Six. Nice job, boys and girls. You guys are doing excellent on your adding. I'm very proud of you. All right, so now turn to your next page. Three, two, one. 321. Now, you're going to do similar to what we just did, but this time I can't help you, okay? Because your teacher wants to see what you know. So what I want you to do on this spot right here is you're going to draw a picture to show one plus four. One plus four. So think of a picture you could draw that would show one plus four, okay? And then even practice saying a story to go along with it like I did with the cookies, okay? Use those words plus and add. 
practice using those words, okay? So press pause while you do this page, and when you're done, press play again. Good, okay, check it. Make sure your picture shows one plus four, and then you're gonna take a picture of this in your seesaw so your teacher can see your picture, okay? All right, let's look at the next page, last one. Same thing as we did before. There's some cute little kitties and puppies. Okay, so look at the first one. How many dogs? How many cats? So you're adding to see how many all together. So look at your equations down here and match them up. Okay, so you have three sets up there and three equations to match. So you're going to draw your lines. Okay. When you're done with this, you're going to take a picture of this in Seesaw and you're going to record yourself telling your teacher your equation. So if I was going to do this one, I'll help you. I would say one dog plus one cat equals two. Good. So record yourself doing those three to your teacher. Excellent job today, boys and girls, and I will see you tomorrow.